So we have this. This was a fat quarter. I was trying to find this color and the only thing I find was a fat quarter. I did pick up two of them. I think you could get away with one of them depending upon the size of the banner you're making. Yeah, Peggy, I do too. Bad, bad. So hello, Debbie. From Southern California, hello. All right, and then I also have this fabric. It pulls out that gray and the black that's in here. And I have this fabric. So I did have one more fabric, this one. This one also totally works with it. It's a little bit thinner, and I like that the, these are a little bit thicker, so they're a little bit heavier. Um, this would totally work with it, but I don't think I need it. With what I'm doing, I think it's gonna look really cute without this. But I am also going to use, it's called Extra um, Bias Tape Extra Wide, the Double Fold. And that's in this gray color. So that's the color that I'm going to use to pull these all together for the, for the pen and banner. Is it raining? It's sunshine here today. We have, but let's see, I think it's cold out though. I think it's only like 30. So it's been cold. So again, so we've got, I cut out the different sizes and the way I got these triangles was in Microsoft Word, I just um, insert, um, insert shape. And I found a triangle and you just drag it out to make it as big as you want. And then I just made it a little smaller and a little smaller. All right, and then, so I've got them all cut out already. You don't need to see me watch them cut out, but here, I'll just do it. I'll just show you on here. So, and this was two fat quarters. Again, I think you could get away with one. This is the larger one that I use, so it just depends upon what, what you're doing and how long you want it. So maybe get two to be safe. Oh, you're snowing in Alberta. How long do you guys get snow? We'll still have, we probably will still have a snowstorm here yet. We usually don't have one more yet. All right, so literally what I do is, and I like to always start with a straight edge. Let me just tip you down a little bit there. All right, so I usually like to start with a straight edge, and I would start it way over on, on the edge here. And then I use a marker, I actually had fabric pens, so, and then mark, and I turn it inside out so you can see it better. Um, you can just see your lines better. So I usually, I turned each one of these inside out to cut them, but I literally lay it on and cut. So after I get that one, I shift it over, and then I'm able to tip it upside down and get, so you get all the way across, you're gonna use that. The only one that doesn't work for is when you have a fabric that has a pattern like this where everything is upright. You can literally only use all the way across. So you have to look at your pattern to see whether you do it. So I used a large, and this is actually the actual color of the fabric, okay? So I used the large one on here I used the small one on here, and I think I cut 14 of each. I probably have more than that, but I think I'll need 14 is what I measured. Are you ready for spring too, Peggy? Yeah, I think a lot of us are. I mean, we've had some really nice spring days, but we're ready for more. Okay, so this I cut with the smaller one. I cut this one. And then these two, I cut with the medium one. And I'll show you how I put them together. It's all no sew. Uh, it's easy to do. We're gonna use the Sure Bonder fabric glue. You don't have to. Um, I, I usually have that fabric tack over here and I actually didn't grab it. It's on the table. Fabric tack would work. The Gorilla glue sticks, honestly, I don't mind using them for fabric. Um, but I just figure this is a real quick stick when you use the fabric glue. If you do get the Sure Bonder fabric glue, make sure you have a dedicated glue gun for it. So um, that's just something, just always keep the fabric glue sticks in there. 
Nothing by you yet, Debbie. All right. Okay, so I'll show you how we're going to lay it out again. You see pennant banners where you've got them all the way across like this. We're going to make it a little bit different. I would like to um, just blend the colors together a little with this. So we're going to make it look a little bit different. And the reason, okay, and I'll show you again. This is bias tape, the extra wide double fold. The reason why we get the double fold is... When you open it up, we're going to stick that top edge right in there. And it just it's already all folded for you. Uh, it's a nice clean edge. So this is going to be the top of it. Okay. So again, I have these already cut out. I think I can get away with 14 um, with each. I probably, I'm sure I have extra of some of them. So we've got that. We're going to have... This color, and because this is my, my inspiration fabric, I want this on top all the time because it, I think this is what pulls it all together. Um, but that's what we're going to put on top. You have lumpy effects of the fabric, of glue and fabric. All right, is that with the fabric glue? I hardly ever use the fabric glue. Again, I have a fabric tack that I use a lot that you know let me go grab it so i can show you because th that honestly would work i have used this a lot on on here on the lives it's fabric tech this honestly would work also it takes a little bit longer to set up but not as long as a lot of the liquid um, it, it actually sets up really fast. I used it for carrots on a live, um, like multiple things. I don't remember what all else, but I did it on the carrots on a live. It really does set up fast. I just figure I have the Shervander glue. I might as well use it for this. All right, so this is the way I'm gonna um, put it together. And, and it's sort of gonna be one long strip because of the way I'm laying it out. We're just going to take, so I've, I've got this black in the back, and I've got a Christmas tablecloth here just because it was mostly white. I just figured it would, you'd see this better. All right, so I'm going to lay these out just so they're, they're touching like that. I don't know how many you'll be able to see. Okay, and you're going to be doing steps. Uh, you know, I mean, if you have a long surface to work on, you certainly could do that. But we're just going to do steps. All right, so that's the black. And then I've got the yellow that's cut a little bit shorter. And I'm laying so that the top is even. Thanks for the hearts. All right. We're laying so that top is even. But this one I'm shifting over. I'd say it's about a third of an inch I mean, just play with it just whatever you like but I want to be able to see that black behind there and we're gonna glue these down just to keep them together okay then next we're gonna use this longer one so we've got the medium the short now we're gonna go to a longer and lay that on top, and, the, and you can see it's going on top of this other one. That's fine. So a lot of the banners that you see, well, I wanna make sure, again, we're only going over about that same amount here. A lot of the banners you see, you just have them next to each other, all the way across. They don't overlap, but I like the coloring in this. I think putting it together. Good morning, Ian. All right. Again, I'm always looking at this edge and that edge. And we could put one more here. So these tops are overlapping because I want the same distance. And then we're going to put this on and this will end up like 
think if I do it right, yep, it'll end up where they're touching, just touching each other at the top here. And after I get this glued, I'll be able to show you. Now, if you want to do this like with a pinking shears so that you have the um, scalloped edges, you know, go ahead and do that. I have a hard time if I cut and then I cut with a pinking shear to make sure that I don't skip one of those little triangles that you have to make sure you cut it um, very even. It's hard to explain if you've never used one. Okay, isn't that cute? Can you see that? So let's, I'm gonna put this aside and we're just gonna use a little glue on this just to keep it together. And then we're gonna end up doing this. So again, I've got the Sure Bonder fabric glue. You could get away with the Gorilla Glue or this fabric tap. I, I do love this fabric tap too. My bottle is actually sort of emptier, so I've got this, we're gonna use it. And all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of glue between each one just to try and hold it together a little. That's my only goal is to hold it together right now. I don't want to go, all, we don't have to go all the way down. Um, okay, I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna do this now. Because I do want them overlapped. Okay, let me, let me come up with a game plan here, overlapping. So we're just gonna lift this up, get that last black layer down there, put a little under there. So you might find a better way to do it, but with overlapping, you sort of have to already have that plan of that overlap. This up. Oh, the, on there, my finger is sticking to it. All right, and then let me do just a little there, a little here. Okay, so this part is glued to my table. Actually is really a strong stick. Okay, and I'll lift it up after I get this next part glued here. So let's just, we're gonna keep working on this part. Thank you, Sherry, I appreciate it. Hello, Lisa. Okay, let's just lift this up again. Um, try and get behind so that we're ahead of the black one. And I'm just putting such a little bit in there just to try and hold them together. Again, these two are meeting this top one, they meet at the top. And so did the bottom one. The bigger one overlaps them and the smaller one had a space in between. Okay. Touch this one back up, and then I'll pick it up and show you where we're at. Make sure it's supposed to overlap. Okay, just behind, and get just a little on each layer back there. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. The fabric glue really sticks though. All right. See how it's going? 
So, um, all right, let's do the next step then. And really that's gonna be all there is to it. So if you want to iron this out, you could ahead of time because when this, you get the folds from the top and bottom, but I didn't do that. Now I'm gonna keep this line up over here so I'll be able to, I think what I'll, I'll actually even loop it already. Or I'm just gonna keep it long enough so I can always glue a loop to it and I can adjust um, I can adjust the length of how I do that for depending on how long I need it. So I'm gonna leave about that much. And this is three yards worth, so that's a long that you have plenty on here. So you just open this up again. This is the extra wide double fold, so it folds in half. It's got a finished, you can see it's already folded in thirds so that it, it has that pretty finished edge. I'm just gonna open that up and we're gonna do the bottom edge first. You get a little bit on here. Now this is where you want a little more. I'm gonna lay that up in there. Get all the way up to that center. It's a little bit potsy, but are you getting what I'm showing you though? And just lift that edge up. Lay this in here because then that's going to go over the top. This glue smells though. Hello, Joyce. Next one. Again, you could get away with the, the Gorilla Glue too, sticks too. I really do like them. So whatever works for you. you have it in there I mean you'll be you'd be able to pull it apart right away but just you just want to get it into that middle that middle fold ah oh, copper on a coffee bar with the, yeah absolutely there's cute material out there that would work I think what I'm going to do, you're asking how long I'm gonna make this one. I measured out like on my fireplace. It, you can really make them as long as you want. Um, I measured out on my fireplace that I would probably have 14 of these across. Okay, this is closing up on me. that I would probably have 14 of them across. Okay, this edge I'm gonna leave open a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way to that edge because we have to add in there. Okay. And then just put, <laughs> it doesn't work when you squeeze on that. Just a tip. Okay, and then just put the edge along there and flip it down. So it's a no so banner and you can make it match anything. Yeah, Kathy, I use the Gorilla Glue Sticks really a lot. I just figured because I had this, I would show it. I do have it, I don't use it often. Just gonna go a little bit farther here. Just gonna get to the end. I said I don't want to go all the way to the end because we have to layer some more up in there. But this is a little putsy, but it goes together so nice and cute. Look how cute that is. You could do this in a baby room. Use baby material. 
um, or any kind of, you know, any kid's room. You could do this in a um, hunting room, use camo. Um, it would be so cute. So let's do one more set of them. Again, if you're hopping on late, all I did was cut out the triangles. So I have one of them that is um, this size. Do you want to know the size of them? I can grab my, my ruler. Let me show you, tell you the size of them. Oh, I've got a yardstick, so that's a big. Okay, so this large one is seven and a half inches tall and five inches wide. So seven and a half by five. This one, which we did two of them, the medium one, is about six inches by four and a half so six um well it's six this way okay so from the middle to the bottom is six and then four and a half this one is five and a half by four so five and a half up and down this way by four across those are the measurements okay let's set up one more and then I'll do the last set myself. I said I'm. I don't know if I'll get away with twelve, um, or if I'll need fourteen. We'll see. Oh, Christmas banner! There are so many different things you could do with this. All right. So we just set up this one. This is one of the medium ones. We set up. Let's set up four of them again. You know what? I think. So as we're going, I think we'll figure this out. Um, so then we do this little while. I think we could get away with doing, we're gonna glue right away. It'll be a lot easier. So we're gonna glue this layer on right away. Now that we know what we're doing, you know, I'd recommend laying it out first to see so you know what you're doing. But, um, but now, It'll be easier to glue. Okay, so we'll do them. Okay, you don't need a lot of glue. You just got to get it to stay on there a little bit. Because what's holding it together is the top banner. And you see I'm just barely getting some on here. Do you want to, do you want to craft with us? He's checking his blood pressure. <laughs> Is that a sign? <laughs> Hello, Barb. Happy Monday to you, too. Yeah, cash. Yeah, just stay away from him. Yeah, yeah. That blood pressure. All right. So next one again, we're doing the longer one. And that'll be laid on top. And this is what is overlapping. But so again, watch this edge because you want these even space and watch that edge because you want that straight across. But it, it does now that now that I'm doing it, it works a lot easier that gluing this in, in the layers will work a lot easier. Okay, do that. And then we'll put a little behind here just to keep that down. Is your honey not feeling well? No, he's feeling okay. I raise his blood pressure sometimes, so he <laughs> he just checks it when he's home. <laughs> no, it he has a vacation day to use. And he wanted to use it on a day that I'm home. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> You hear them? Fake news. 
So no, he's feeling just fine. <laughs> All right, so let's take these chickens. At least somebody cares. Janie appreciates that you care. <laughs> But blood pressure is too high for crafting. <laughs> no, he could come here. Peggy, thank you for the stars. I appreciate it. Hello, Heather. All right, again, these are joining up right at the center then. It works out really well. And just having that space. Um, again, you just make sure you have that space and it actually lines up really, really cute. Well, why are you taking so many times? That's not a good sign. All right, let's glue this one on. I just want to make sure, let me think, am I missing something? No, because this has to layer in with this edge, and we did leave this open here, so we're okay there. I'm just going to put a little again it doesn't take much it's just to get it to stick a little bit are we okay yeah let everybody know i'm good all right he's good <laughs> even though he's stressed with me he's good <laughs> What size is the rooster? Um, let me tell ya. The rooster is one, one of the medium ones. Oh, that's just cute. These are just cute. I love this fabric. And again, the, you start with the inspiration fabric, pull colors out of there to get the rest. If that one's really busy, the other ones you can't have quite as busy with, with things in. Um, the rooster fabric was one of the medium ones. So that was five and a half tall from point from that this point there and by four and a half. We are having a good day. Thank you. I hope you are too. Uh, Joanne, the chicken material, all of these fabrics are from Joanne's, not from Hobby Lobby. They, yeah. Let me just, well, let me, let me just think that again. Yeah, this is Joanne's. No, let me think again. Um... I'll have to look at my receipt. I think I'll have to look at my receipt. No, the rooster is the medium size. The small size is this gold one. Okay, the small size is, let me get to the top here. Did I tell you wrong? So this small one is five by, Four. Okay, I'm sorry. So if I told you the small one is five by four, that's the gold. The medium is six by four and a half. And then the large is this maroon one I'm using. I'm picturing grabbing that that fat quarter. I'm sure, okay, this is this is all from Joann's. It's from Joann's. Okay, this one is seven inches by five, oh, it's about five and a quarter. Maybe about five, it's about five. So like I said, all I did was I went on Microsoft Word and I insert shapes and I chose a triangle shape that looked like this and then I just dragged it out to the size I wanted. And then for the next size, I literally just laid, so I think I started with this one and I laid it on a file folder and cut it out. And then the next one, I just lowered it on that file folder and drew the lines up farther and got this one. And then the same thing for this, I just made it a little shorter. So that's how I did it. And you could do that all on Microsoft Word too, 
by stretching it and making it smaller. All right, let's keep going. Let's do this next one. Okay, so now we got to connect this together here. So I'm going to layer that in here. This black one has to be close up to this other black one. So I'm just looking at a little glue over, over the fat. I'm not going to glue it onto this binding yet. I'm going to glue these together so they know they lay in together. Okay, so um, the gold is next, and then that. So this is the way it'll layer. So I'm just going to connect, connect these together. That way I know I've got it together there. Okay, so then we just open up again. This is the extra wide double, the, the extra wide double fold bias tape. I'll bet you love the big one, Peggy. Okay, so let's just open this up again. And just do it in hard so that you can get it laid up in there. Okay, if you didn't see this before, this is already folded in half, so you're just putting that fabric right up to the middle, and then we fold it back down after. So we're just laying that right up in the middle. it actually goes together the cutting was not hard either one tip I give you on the fabrics is make sure it's a little bit sturdy of a fabric I did not use this one which would have gone with this too um, but I think I had enough color in here this one is a little a little bit thinner these are have a little bit of weight to them so make sure you do that and you know you could do canvas you could get some of that outdoor if you see some of that on clearance get some of the outdoor fabric and do a banner for your outside. I mean, that would be really cute. Just anything that would go. Um, you could make these top, the top of the triangles a little longer. And instead of using this bias tape, you could fold it over and leave a loop, an opening back there, and you could run jute through it or something. Um, actually, I would probably lay the jute in first and then fold it over so that it, you don't have to try and string it. But there's all different options you could do to put that together. Like I said, if you're doing it outside, just use some outside fabric. Um, anything like that would work. Okay, I'm not, again, this last one, I'm not gonna run all the way over. Oh, I got more hearts. Thank you so much. I didn't mean to say snot in my comment. <laughs> I didn't even notice the snot part. All right, so, and then let's just close up this top. And then I could show you what it will look like. I'm for sure going to put one more set of four on here, but I might have to do just a little bit more too. Thank you, Sue. Thanks for the hearts. Okay, I'm going a little bit farther. I want to go just on to this other one. Look how easy and cute that is. Look at those chickens. So if you have farm decor, 
Do you want to see? And you know what I'll do? I'm going to go show you what this looks like up there. I have my Easter banner up there right now, though. But I'll still, I'll hold it up there. Um, I'll show you. And then I'll do random act of kindness drawing. And if anybody wants to stick on for me to finish it and just chat, we could do that. All right? So let me just show you. Again, I left this edge longer so that I can fold it whatever length I needed to put over the nails that are up there. So if I need a little shorter, I could shorten it. So you can adjust it from there. But see how I'm gonna get you to see it. Let me see. Let me just wrap it here. See if it'll stay on there wrapped. Isn't that cute? So it's so easy and simple. Hi, Sonia. Thanks, Kendra. So let's do a random act of kindness drawing. If you want to stick on, um, and we can chat while we do the last. For sure, we have to do one more set of four. We can do that, all right? Let's do one random act of kindness. All right, Debbie Heinen, uh, please private message me your mailing address and I'll get you happy mail. And I ask you, please do a random act of kindness for someone. Thank you, Deb, I appreciate you passing me on. If you guys like what I do, please do that. Um, I know I've been trying to promote Pinterest too, my Pinterest page. So I ask, you know, when I do posts like that, you know, I love if you go there and if you do, there's emoji on there. There's a heart. If you hit that, that's like a like on here. So that helps me grow on there. So I'm really trying. My Instagram is a little bit sad, but you only have so much time to do. And sometimes even the comments, you know, that on Pinterest too, it works the same way. And Pinterest is trying to grow. They're trying to grow for creators. So I'm trying to do that. Oh, you don't have to be sorry you're late, Carla. All right, we're going to shift this up. Well, and if you're late, now you want to come on and watch, we can, we can chat a little more. So um, again, I have three different size triangles, two of them, the rooster and... Um, the black one are the same size and then I have a longer one that's the maroon and a shorter one that's the gold. So I can um, tell you those sizes again when I'm done or if somebody asks, I can say it again. I have to keep measuring though because I don't have it written down. Hi, Deborah. Hi. Uh, hi, Barbara. Thank you. All right. So again, I'm just doing in steps of four. This first one. These black ones are all touching. And I learned as we went, I after, before I laid it all out and then tried gluing in between. Now I glue after each layer. All right, let's get the gold. And again, you wanna make sure that you are, this edge is always the same and that edge is straight. So, um, meaning the same is it's shifted over so that you see that space. You want that pretty even all the way along. I love this. I love the colors. And like I said, you could do this with outdoor fabric and have it hanging outside. You could do it in a baby room or a child's room. You could do it in a hunting room. You just pick out whatever fabrics work for your decor. Bye, Sue. Take care. Thanks for coming on. All right, and again, we're just going to put just a little bit of glue here that it's going to be holding it together until we put it in that binding tape. And so the next one is the maroon one, and this is the longer one. No, I can't hear you, Jan. I can't. 
And so Jean, Jean lives, we figured it out this weekend, right, Jean? Um, um, and, and we only know each other through here. But um, I figured out she's like four and a half hours from me. But if we hop on, we have a car ferry not far, like 20 minutes from me. That actually goes probably, what did you say, 20 minutes from you? <laughs> so someday we could meet. I am using fabric glue. I don't believe you need to. Um, you could, I like, I honestly like the Gorilla Glue also. The Gorilla Glue sticks, but I happen to have this so I pulled it out. I don't use fabric glue very often. Um, I also said this fabric tack, which I've used on a lot of lives, really dries quickly and that would work perfectly fine also. I, I love that fabric tack also. Mine is just the jar is getting a little down so I thought it would be easier for me to do this. Okay, so I'm going to just get this glued down. Pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna get this one out. I said it helps just to have this glued together so that when we um, end up putting it in that binding, I can shift this around and it's not gonna come apart on me. So we're gluing between each layer as I do that. You don't have to go all the way across. Uh oh. There we go. But that just holds it together enough to be able to put it in. We'll add a little snivel of glue here, too. It holds it enough to be able to put it in what we're doing. Okay. Last layer is our chickens. And when you do that, and this is the medium, so this is the same size as the black one. So I did medium, short, long, medium in size. So and and these actually end up when you use that same width of each of these, these end up touching each other on the top. Now the one thing, if you have a pattern of fabric, you probably don't want the same exact one next to each other. So like this head was almost the same as that. I'm just separating them a little bit. Thanks, Nina. How are you? How's it over by you across the big pond? I don't... Nina is from, you're from United Kingdom, right? United Kingdom or England? I know I might have that wrong. I know you're, I know you're across seas. Does that chicken fabric have a sunflower? Sorry, I really like that and on the heart. Does it have a sunflowers in or are you saying, are you asking, do they have like the same maker have some with sunflowers? Joanne Fabric has awesome selection of sun, of any fabric. Sunflowers, I know I saw sunflower fabric there. I have some really actually cute sunflower fabric here that I've used in the past. Um, I, I know they have, they they had some, that I know they had some. Okay, let's put this back in. Can I go? Goodbye, Peggy. Oh, enjoy your class. Thank you so much. Down. It's getting heavier over here. I think we've got to flip that up. 
so it's not pulling. Again, you just open up that binding, and what I want to do now is get this layered in with this one. Um, so again, I knew the black was touching each other um, in the back, so before I actually glue it onto here, I want to make sure this is lined up, and we're going to go through and do that little bit of gluing for those layers to hold that together in there so it'll be easier for me to put it into that binding. There you go. That just melded the two of them together. Um, I gave this tip at the beginning when you cut your triangles. Honestly, you could take like, um, I can show you this fat quarter. This was a fat quarter, so it was actually two fat quarters I put together. You might be able to get away with one depending on your size. Literally, I laid these on here and drew, and I did it from the back so you could see it, see the marking. But you drew that, and then you drew the next triangle, and then you could flip this upside down, and you would do that same triangle in between. So you'd have a whole row of triangles. The only thing that that doesn't work for is if you have a fabric that has a pattern that goes one way, like these roosters. If I did that for the roosters, half of them, the roosters would be upside down because they are all facing upright. So I couldn't do the upside down triangles for these, but I can certainly use that for other things. So don't throw them away. Yeah, Joann's is really dangerous. When when it comes to fabric, Joann's is really tough for me because I <laughs> I love Joann's fabrics. They have a lot better selection of fabric um, than what Hobby Lobby does, at least our Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has so much better of other things. Okay, I'm gonna bring that down. And you just might have to be a little tough with this. Just, you know, take your time and get it placed in there where it needs to go. And you could always lift it back up with this fabric glue. Um, even with Gorilla Glue, you could always lift it back up if you need to uh, while you're doing it. But yeah, you certainly also, like I said, you could also do like jute lay do it from backwards then and lay that jute in there and flip that over and that would be a cute hanger too you could do that you could do it with like with rope all right i'm just going to do this top right away so we can shift it once you get the bottom place this top one is really easy And this, when you buy this, it's three yards long. So you have plenty. If you end up having to do a longer one, you just splice it together where, where the end is. So you want to make sure those tops are lined up, the top of all that fabric, and I have that one a little high, so I just shifted it some, because that way it'll hang nice and straight. I even had to get my iron all today. I don't iron much except for crafting, which again, this is crafting. I had to iron the fat quarter. The rest of this fabric I didn't even have to iron. So that might be another tip. If you want, don't get a fabric that that really has a lot of wrinkles or that could wrinkle very easily because then you might have to iron it. All right, almost done with this length. Yeah, it works a lot better just to do little parts of it at a time. Just too cute. 
Why is Abby joining us? Because I can use the coupon. Hobby Lobby doesn't do good. Nope, Hobby Lobby doesn't do coupons. They do, you know, that they have sales all the time. Their fabric, when it goes on sale, it's usually 30% um, off. Um, all their other things have sales. Joann's really does have great sales, though, too. They have great sales. So especially with fabric, you want to usually buy it when it's on sale. And, and then there's always the coupons that I have it on my phone, the app. There's always the coupons where you get like $5 off of 50. So, you know, just, I always use that too. So they do have good sales. Iron is a four letter word. <laughs> well, somebody was doing something with the iron and I just said, what's that? I can tell you, I, when I was a kid, my dad, um, always had to wear shirts that had to get ironed and I had to iron them all the time. I hated it. Every week I'd iron all his work shirts. I hated doing that. All right, this one I'm just going to let loose yet. Yeah, I'm going to a little bit. Okay, we're going to let this one, we'll go just a little ways on this. And I think I've got two more I want to add on this end here. That's a great deal, Ruthie. $5 for, or $10 for five yards. That's an awesome deal. That is an awesome deal. They did have a bin out there that I got a fabric from, um, I don't know, probably about a month ago. They had a bin with sale fabrics that I picked up one. I haven't used it yet, um, but that one too was really, really cheap when I got that one. I had to iron the handkerchiefs too, Jane. I had to do that too. So, and I lived. I just don't care to get my iron out, <laughs> except for crafting. All right, we're gonna do two more and then I think it's the length that I need. Maybe I should hold it up there just to make sure. You wanna see it again? All right, make sure they lay down good. And I'm just gonna try and tuck it over on this side. Yeah, I know I'm gonna need like two more, I think. So we'll do two more when we're done. And then when we're done, we'll do one more random at the kind of time. All right, let's just do two more. I appreciate y'all sticking on with me. All right, so let's do two more. We have the black and a black. So I did on mine 14 across, and I can measure it when I'm done um, so that you know. Do the gold. And this black, can you see, it even has gold flecks in it. So that works so well with this. Yeah, Hobby Lobby remnant, when you get them from their remnants too, and I get like even their um, trim, a lot of times their trim will be on clearance. I like looking in the bin for that too, or they actually have like a, a shelves along the side all the time. I walk along there because they have a lot of stuff along there. Okay, let's do these. These are the longer ones. So again, there's three different sizes we're using. This is the only one that really overlaps and, and it sort of holds it together. And that helps make sure that it's straight along the edge too as you're doing it. You keep it, that's a good place for your iron is in your craft room. I just said that's the only place that I would want to use it. I try not to buy clothes that need to be ironed because I just ironed too much as a kid. All right, and then these two, 
when you lay them on there, they end up butting together again. So you know you're pretty even with what you did. One. Okay, we're going to piece this in here again. The black touches each other and this maroon is what will hold everything together back here. So I'm just making sure that these layers are still Way they need to be. Let's go back just a little bit. All right, last two, and then we're done. Just put inside. Again, you'll learn you just do a little at a time that makes it a lot easier. Line that up in there. Then we'll do the top. Has anybody come on since the beginning? I can re-show you this binding tape that I'm using. I know I did the washing, I did the ironing. It's very rare that I iron anything, yeah. <laughs> That is just not not a big fan of that for me. And I'm just making sure that it's right up to the center. 99 degrees for <laughs> vinyl. <laughs> I agree. Or for hot for um, your Mod Podge. That's my favorite way now, too. You you like ironing, Kathy? I th yeah, you know, and I told you have memory. I, I do have memories, too. I just remember that I didn't like doing it, and I had to do it every Sunday night. Every Sunday night, I had to do it. So I think that's why. <laughs> Thank you, Mina. Yeah. I got that for my birthday. <laughs> I got a cute hat, too. I think it says um, Wine Love, and it matches this, but I'll wear that for another life. Now this I'm going to bring all the way out to the end. Now, the other times I never brought it all the way to the end because I knew I would always have to splice that end together. But I don't have to do that now. This is the final one. You want to join us now? Just checking. Right. How many are you doing? 14, is that what you said? Yes, I'm doing 14, and now I can measure it to let you know um, this one I'm going to just leave. This is the very end of it. So this, I used a whole package of this. I believe I'm going to end up being able to just, um, tack it probably about that length to fit on my fireplace. You have to measure what you're doing. So this is nine, oh, this was three yards, so it was nine feet. And if you didn't see, it's extra wide double fold bias tape. You get this in the sewing department by the zippers, by the thread. 
Um, and I love it because it's it's folded in half for you already. And the edges are folded in so that you have clean edges. There's a single fold, but then it, that's not the same. That has, it almost looks like this, but it's skinnier. So you don't want that. You want this double fold and this extra wide is perfect size for it. So honestly, I can tell you, so this is nine, this was nine feet. Let me just tell you how much longer, how, um, it'll probably be easier just to measure. But it really matters what you're doing it on. That's three feet. And three feet and five feet, five feet three inches is what it is from one end of the banner to the other end, but it just depends what you're putting it on. So um, I was thinking that if this was nine feet, I have, well, there's quite a bit extra there. But what do you think? Do you like those colors together? And it's just a little bit different kind of banner than what you normally see. A lot of the banners just have the one size, um, but you could do different shapes with this. You could do the oval or the where it just comes down oval. You could do the actual banner size and do almost the same thing. But I think those chickens are just adorable and it worked out really good. So this will end up in my Etsy shop. I just thought I'd do it on here. We'll put it up on my fireplace for a little bit so you can see it. But it will end up in there. Thank you, Gloria. <laughs>